this is a locked on place and the new Quicksilver head just unlocked. This I believe is the Hyperion head. Hyperion is one of the vendors in the back room. I will go take a look at their head so you can check out the way uh, Hello Games has the head designed. But first let's see what we have at the appearance analyzer. Like all of these heads, this one requires that you be a traveler in order to use it. So let's go to the head, and I think this is head 11. Ah, yes, there we go. All right, this is sort of a mixture of Cthulhu and, I don't know, something from Star Wars, maybe? It looks like, again, we don't have a way to change the head shape like we do on some of the other visages. Um, but we do have some markings this time, and we have the eye option again, which we didn't have on Helios, or Groot, or whatever his name is. Um, okay, so, uh, probably the primary color is going to be the majority of the head. That's not too uh, surprising. Uh, let's see if we can figure out what accent color does with marking set at zero. Hmm, if I set it as green... I'm not seeing anything changing. All right, let's switch to a different markings. Markings one, whoa, that's different. Okay, so primary color here, it looks like it's the lower sections of the head and the eye ridges. Secondary color is the eyes and his ear pieces, for lack of a better term. And accent color is going to be the overskin. when it looks like it's all also the lower part of the head around the back. All right, so that's markings one. Markings two, oh, that's cool. Sort of gives us a squid pattern on the top of their head. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the chest burster from Alien. Here, the primary color is now the forehead ridge, eye ridges, and the, the squid tattoo. Secondary color again is the eyes and the ear pieces, and the accent color is the lower skin and includes the back of uh, of of the head. Eyes I suspect are going to be the same set as always, with zero being the black orbs, one being a fairly human-looking eye with a light color on the lower part of the iris and a darker color on the top. I2 is going to be a horizontal pupil. I3 is sort of an android with a horizontal line in the iris with a light color on the bottom and a dark color on top. 4 is the vertical pupil with a dark ring around the iris. And 5 is, is the bug eye. So, primary color is the forehead ridge and the eye ridges. Secondary color is the eyes and the ear pieces. And the tertiary color, the accent color, is the lower part of the head. Hmm. I wish they let us change the shape of the head. Let us change the shape of, of, of the back of the head like it does on some of the other ones. I wonder if I have some of the heads that allow you to do that. This guy, of course, allows you to change the face shape. I like that you can add a cranial bulge or reduce the cranial bulge on some of these. But, the newest one isn't going to allow us to do that. Well, <laughs> these visages walkthroughs, if they don't have those options, make this uh, pretty short. I don't know if that vibration on, on the throat was a glitch. There it is. You see that? I suspect that's like how the Vikings, how their lower lip sometimes twitches. All right, so we're not gonna save this. Let's go see what they have set on the character, on the NPC, who is back here. I believe they are the starship vendor. Yep, here we go. Oh, he has the, the squid tattoo. 
and the lower head is blue, the tattoo is red, and the eyes and the eye pieces are yellow. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, this has been a walkthrough of the Hyperion visit. I hope this allows you to decide whether you want to spend your hard-earned nanites on this visit or not. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want to subscribe, that would be great. If not, that's totally cool too. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.